International Malaria Elimination Program, NMEP, has expressed worry over the rising cases of malaria infections in Nigeria. The National Coordinator of NMEP, Audubala, while speaking to newsmen in Abuja during its Made in 2020 media chat, says there is fear that malaria deaths this year could double figures available from the year 2000. Bala, who was represented by the program's head of advocacy, communication, and social mobilization, Chuku Okoronkwa, blames the increase in infection rates to the disruption of current health systems by the current COVID-19 pandemic. Recent uh, projections suggest, suggest that when most prevention activities are canceled or delayed, and malaria services like insecticide-treated net campaigns and access to anti-malaria medicines experience severe disruption, then, then malaria deaths in sub-Saharan Africa could double by the end of this year. Under the worst case scenario presented in an analysis that was done, the death toll in sub-Saharan Africa in 2020 will exceed the total number of malaria deaths reported globally in the year 2000. It is therefore critical that Nigeria and other malaria endemic countries minimize any disruptions of, of malaria prevention and treatment during the, uh, the COVID-19 response, given that failure to do so could lead to catastrophic loss of life. We now need people to know that, yes, the COVID-19 is there, but we also have other diseases that are still killing people. Malaria is killing somebody every nine minutes. And it's a reality that is with us. So despite the fact that COVID-19 is there, what is the implication to malaria? If, if services are no longer being rendered, what do you think will happen? More people will die. And we don't want that to happen. So one of the resolutions globally is to ensure that services continue to be delivered despite COVID-19.